What's up, what's up everybody? Welcome to Pritch Diggs show. We're gonna give you a little uh, update here. I've been gone from the RC car world for I'd say about a good seven years, maybe even eight. Uh, I took off for a while, I had two boys. Uh, they're my world. And now I'm back with the RC cars because I found some RC cars that I fell in love with. If you haven't seen them yet, this is the Kyosho Mini 4x4. Sick. Definitely get one if you ha don't have one. Um, I'll show you on my course a little bit. Does everything, can hit everything. It's an amazing, amazing rig. <clears throat> Highly recommend it. So we recommend it so much that we got two. Well, upon getting our second one, uh, we opened it up out of the box and unfortunately the slipper clutch went out on it. No write-ups on slipper clutches yet. Uh, found a guy in our group that says he knows a little bit about it. Take a Q-tip, rub some degreaser on it. Found another guy in our group, uh, two gentlemen actually, it's only, only was a reply, and offered some assistance. Uh, he said that you could put a washer in there, uh, almost like a shim. And I said, well, that's a great idea as well. So today what we're gonna be doing is exactly that, folks. So if you haven't seen it, this is the Kyosho Show Mini. I'm gonna get up in there so you can see it. And we're working on right now is to make sure that we can take that slipper clutch out. So I did it already. I took it apart. Super simple. They made it easy so you can access it. You know, uh, love that about it. That way you can get to the pinion and change that out if you want to change the multiple pinions that they give you. Um, I like the one that's in there because it's super low gearing. For me, I like low torque. I like it like that because for me, I like to do uh, hardcore rock crawling. I'm not into your high speeds. Um, now, we also have parts of the slipper clutch as well. And I'll show you, I took it apart as already and took the E-clip off. Took photos of everything I was doing. Uh, not the best at videotaping while I do it. I'm gonna start practicing that. <laughs> like I said, it's been eight years, I'm, new, I'm back. And so uh, taking it off, I used these right here, took it off, popped it right off, and then <clears throat> accessed everything. It was really super simple. Um, gonna go to town on it now. I got some degreaser. We'll check out our degreaser and see how it works. Uh, I appreciate everybody watching and I'll let you know and give you feedback. And so basically here we go. We're gonna take the degreaser. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my little bit of degreaser I got and I'm rubbing it right here so I don't put too much on my little wheel. And I'm going to use my book. I like to use my book a lot. I don't know if you guys do. It's white, super simple. You can see everything. And I'm gonna rub some degreaser on the outside just like this. Make sure I get all that oil off. Do the other one. Same thing. Nothing special. And I'm gonna let them dry. Uh, upon doing that, I'm also gonna hit these little metal pieces with it. It's these little metal rings that hold the piece in itself so the slipper clutch and the pads themselves don't move around. It actually holds it up against it and actually works as a slipper clutch. So I'm taking those off, cleaning that. I'm also going to clean the insides of the spur gear. I'm not going to clean the actual outsides because there is grease on there from the pinion itself. And you will be aware of that if you're doing what I'm doing right now, you'll see. I opened up this and oh my goodness, there was so much grease in there. It wasn't even funny. It was packed with grease. So that was definitely crazy. Um, you don't want to have to deal with that. So here we go, we got this one. I'm gonna clean out this one too. I just like to make sure there's no grease at all around any of this stuff. So I use that degreaser like they said. And now we're letting these sides dry. So uh, instead of you guys sitting there forever and watching them dry, what I'm gonna do is, is give it a little pause, come back after they're dry, tell you how long it took. Uh, once they're dry, flip them over. It should take about another, say a minute or two. Uh, I'm guessing, play a little bit longer. We're gonna give it five. 
and then flip them over, we're gonna do the other side, just in case uh, it was a lot of grease and it might have seeped through. Just taking the chance, I don't even wanna mess around once I have it opened up. And then I'm gonna degrease the other side, and we'll do another five minute break, and we'll be back, put it back together, and you'll get to see this thing wheel, and hopefully it works. And if it doesn't, then we're gonna try the other homie's plan, which was to add a spacer, and to add a washer, and therefore, getting that nice firm on it. Uh, I don't want to glue it like I was also told by another friend or run screws through it because I'm not that hardcore. Um, you know, some people are like, whatever with spur gears, it, it was put there for a reason. All right, see you guys in a minute. Shaka bra. What up, what up? Five minutes has passed. So, uh, like I said, two, three minutes degreaser takes to dry, so we don't have to wait five, but I like to just to guarantee my time uh, using a different type of material that I don't usually use. So here we go, flip it over. It's been five minutes. We got our pads dried up, ready to go, chilling here. Got our book open so we know exactly how the pieces go back together so you're not doing this three, four, five, six, seven times. Um, so here we go, we got our spacer on there. Now we're gonna line up our other backing plate here to it, as you can see. So you take your first backing plate. It's got little cuts in it, so you have it almost like a rectangle with a curve. So you slide that on over. Well, you guys know what that shaft looks like. And you slide that over. If you can't see in the video, I am sliding this over that tiny, tiny shaft. And letting it drop it like it's hot on there. Did I go the right way? We shall find out, the people say. have to get past the little C clip slash E clip. And then it drops right down and seats on there. Sorry, it took me a little while. I don't got no tiny fingers. No tiny fingers. Okay, now we back. So now over here, and then lay it down over here. Come to this, we grab one pad. Lay our pad on there. No, we don't lay our pad on there. What we do is we add it to the slipper clutch like that on this side, and since the spur gear had grease on it, you wanna rub it on your pants really good. I mean, you don't want your wife hearing that either, that you're rubbing it on your pants because she's the one doing your laundry unless you do your own. And then, you grab this other one, the pad you haven't put on, you slide that one over here, and you're gonna put that on the other side of the spur gear, right here. Like so, and give it a good push down. Now it's seated. Now you don't want to touch any of the pads anymore because now you're touching the spur gear, which is greased, right? So then you go over the top, slide it on down, grab the sides of the spur gear the best you can. Sometimes it might be easier to take the motor to the side a little bit, but we're giving it a go like this. Can he do it, folks? Can he do it? Oh, fidgety, 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 fidge. You gotta align it and drop it like it's hot. So that's what we are currently doing. And she has dropped like she's hot. Woo! Didn't think we were gonna do it. How do they say they get a little washer on there? Man, those guys are amazing. They use probably all kinds of cool tools. I'm Pritch. I got your basic of the basics. So that'll be our next one after this. So since we know these, I'm gonna dip it in my decreaser, I ain't even messing around. <laughs> Take this, my Yoda Masters shirt. You know you gotta love your Yoda Masters. Eric's the man, always go there if you got your one-to-ones. High, high, highly recommend Eric at Yoda Masters. Homie, great people, always there for you. All right, so now that's on there, right? We slid that plate on there. Then we're gonna grab the other plate. Off there. And these plates aren't directional, just so you guys know. There's no like uh, taper, one taller than the other. I'm just going based off where you could see the C-clip was on this one. So I'm gonna go back over to there like that. Lay it on top. And we've already degreased those, so just so you know. I don't wanna touch the slipper clutch, so I'm gonna try to use Something different. I'm gonna get it over the top. And we're gonna use 
there's this little screwdriver here. Get it seated down. All right. So now it is seated down back on there, folks. Took forever, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> nah, didn't take that long. So now the fun and hardest part of it all, the C-clip slash E-clip. So this one you gotta use a special tool because there's no getting this one on. And you gotta get something to balance it. So I got my radio, lean it up on my radio. <laughs> Grab the old E-clip. E-clip. If you don't know about E-clips, they are the funnest and the worst. All in the same boat. Can cause drama from a new mama or be simple and easy. I don't know, we'll see. I don't have my box of E-clips at anymore. I used to have a whole box of them and when we uh, moved our stuff in the garage, I misplaced them. So hopefully we're safe with this E-clip because we really need just this one E-clip. So we're gonna go from the side and line it up. Folks, I'm sorry my video is not all up in here, but I am putting an E-clip on the end of the shaft, just so everyone knows what I'm doing. These are magnetic, which does not help me. It actually works against me. Happen to you. To the book thankfully that's why I like working on white books like I said oh again just watch me battle the e-clip so instead of you guys watch me battle the e-clip I'll be back after I put it on here in a minute so please keep watching because I will have this e-clip on when you guys come back all right, everybody. Okay, so that was painstaking. I ain't gonna lie. That tiny little thing took me forever, but I used these and they were magnetic for some reason, so I kept grabbing the E-clip. So I ended up getting a toothpick, working it onto where I needed it to, and then while holding it down from the side like this with my needle nose, I worked it in there and slowly popped it around. And now it's holding on. As you can see in the video, it's back on, degreased, and now we'll do a little test. So here we go. Everybody. So first test, the car is degreased. Uh, you saw me put it back together and we were testing it. Uh, frustrated I was, now I'm not frustrated anymore. We went for a big obstacle, we didn't even hesitate. And as you can see, you guys know this would not have crawled before based on the first video you will all see of me testing it. It literally wouldn't do anything. Stoked. So I uh, definitely highly recommend putting the greaser on it. Don't really need, oh wait, what happened? Already happened again, folks, while you're on film. All right, everybody. So, we learned the degreaser doesn't work. I'm back. Degreaser did not work. We tested it. <laughs> no bueno. Uh, you saw it start crawling. I got all excited. I was like, yeah, that's the fix. How easy. Nope, not the fix. So, the next one was to add washers. Well, I don't got washers that small. So, I apologize to those out there that don't have washers that small, but this might help you because I'm going to try this. 
So my next option I'm gonna try is I have a 220 fine finish uh, pro grit sandpaper. So as you can see on the back, this is non-slit grit, durable backing, and then of course sandpaper on this side. So what I did is I traced out these off the back of here, trimmed them out. So I got my own little custom pieces made now. And what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna run those in with the pad. So I'm actually gonna run that on top of the pad, sandpaper facing the pad, non-slip facing the disc. Seems like it'll work to me, right? Um, I don't really see a need for the slipper clutch, so this will kind of hold it back, but you know, they're smaller gears. The only gear that's really gonna go bad is probably the plastic one. So let's give it a shot and let's see. I appreciate you guys watching. I know the E-Clip takes forever, so let me knock that out right now and couple minutes I'll be back on and I'll show you whether this e-clip worked out good with my new pads or if we're gonna have to go with the whole washer idea like the gentleman had told us in my group thank you so much all right all right we back this is, looks like it's gonna be longer than we had thought so uh, trim those pieces out like we had said out of our 3m non-slip I fit both of them on one in between that side on the plate one in between that side on the plate plus I left the slipper pad in right so now, just so everyone knows, it's spring-loaded. So I had to put a lot of pressure on it. Not like crazy pressure, like I'm gonna break your pressure, but a good amount of pressure. So that way I could slide the E-clip back on. But now it's like tight, tight tension in there, which I think is really gonna help with this whole slipper clutch issue. So we'll see right now. So everyone watch, and we'll go to this test and get this thing popping, because I know you guys all wanna see. Let's make it happen. All right, everybody. So, last fix, let's hope. Got those pads in there, you saw me do it. Drove right up that thing, no problem. And that's where I had the issue last time. So let's go back down to reverse. Way a little bit. All right, going back. Try some vert real quick. Putting in some predicament there, where he wants to crawl and is hitting the rear diff. Doing good. All right, another video, everybody. Different angle on the course, going up this way. That's not slippage, that's actually tire slippage. That's not slipper clutch. Slippage, just so we're all clear. So kudos to that fix, because now we have an RC car again. And out of the box, did not work, but with some Pritch Digs loving, she is fresh to go. All right, so we're back. Um, truck works, ran a little test on it, uh, steering, everything's wonderful on it again. No binding, no nothing. Uh, I, I hooked it up in a pretty uh, wicked spot just after I did my little video with you guys and I couldn't get it to even try to slip. Um, not like I'm trying to break anything, but I just want to see if I can get it to slip and it wouldn't slip. So in front of you guys, uh, let's put the book away. Kyosho 4x4, my uh, tools slash pad. And we'll put up some RC four wheel drives. If you guys don't have these tires, I definitely get them. Uh, these are the rock crushers. I'm going to run these on the rig, try them out. Also got the dirt grabbers for another rig we got. So let's test it out because if any of you guys would have seen it before, it wouldn't even have gone over this stuff. So this is a close-up video for you guys. So we'll drive right up it and see what it does. No problemo. Um, it's crazy. Night and day. I know that 
His sister's gonna be happy because she was like, bro, I don't work. And he's like, bro, I work. And so now they're like, okay, now we're brother and sister again. And so anyways, I'm super stoked. If you don't have one, definitely get one. Uh, this one came out of A-Main Hobbies. A-Main, you're the man, skis and woman skis. Um, this one came out of JJ Customs. JJ Customs, he made it happen for me. Couldn't find silver anywhere. Definitely a dope color. We wanted to try something else out. Um, definitely gonna be awesome. So definitely watch it. We also got this from uh, Asia Tees. Definitely cool. New body, like my real one-to-one. -one. We're gonna do some designs on here and try that out. So definitely keep watching. Got some good stuff coming for the Kyo Show. And uh, sweet rig, sweet rig. Uh, get one if you don't have one. If you wanna watch more of my videos, make sure you wanna get one. Watch them, I'm gonna keep doing them. Thank you so much, I look forward to seeing you guys. Make your comments below. I'm not perfect, just like no one else in the world's perfect, only God, right? <laughs> so make sure, leave your comments below, and I look forward to hearing from everybody. Thank you so much, Shaka Bra, out.